Shall I close it completely to start? Hi, I'm Harriet. Come in. And you. <laughs> So I run a business called Project 26 uh, with my business partner Sylvia, who's Polish. And we're totally obsessed by how beautiful the posters are that were produced there during communist rule. Even in this time of huge repression, this amazing creativity came out. The colours are just so joyful. I have them all over the house. More is more when it comes to posters. <laughs> This is my hanging chair, which I was slightly obsessed with getting. My granny had one when I was little. So my idea was to hang it here, looking away from the telly, out at the trees, beautiful. Literally, as soon as it got put up, my daughter sat in it and just did that. <laughs> I hadn't really thought it through at all. But anyway, I still do love it. Every small child that comes here wants to swing on it dramatically though, so I have to stop them. This little fireplace is another little spot of um, luxury, I guess, in the house. Had to be super careful with the budget when we were doing it up. This bioethanol fireplace. So it's totally eco. I don't have to feel guilty about the fact that I'm polluting the planet. Uh, you just put in kind of pure alcohol. The house is amazing uh, with its mid-century design. It's kind of generous proportions, but it doesn't have the kind of the standard fireplace for me, this like really gives the room a bit of heart and literal um, and metaphorical warmth. I kind of wish I had some beautiful wood glass partition here so that I could separate the living space a little bit. Because when the kids are watching telly, it totally dominates the house. Anyway, they'll grow up and leave one day, it's fine. <laughs> this is my table, kitchen, dining table. Um, and it's basically where I spend 90% of my time, I would say. This is where Sylvia and I sit and work all day. It's kind of the heart of everything downstairs. This is a, a bit of an investment piece. It's from another country and I just adore its super simple form. I can kind of see everything that's going on from here. I'm quite nosy. So I can see everything that's going on outside the front. When the postman comes, like, hello postman. I can see what the kids are up to there, what the dog is up to. This is my kitchen and it's one of my favourite places in the whole house. My architects, Archmongers, did an amazing job of fitting an awful lot of detail into what's quite a small space. There were certain things that we really, really wanted, like the indoor-outdoor garden, which is completely unnecessary but so joyful. <laughs> So this is my concrete counter, otherwise known as the Big Licky Tongue. It's a beautiful piece of pink concrete that feels amazing, it's so soft. Another little vintage prize and joy is my 1970s fondue. <laughs> Come for dinner, enjoy. My mum used to do it with boiling fat in a very um, dangerous 1980s style way. <laughs> um, but yeah, cheese or, cheese or chocolate, I would do. Welcome to my utility room. <laughs> this, you have to come in and have a look. It's messy, but actually it's not, it's quite tidy, but it's not like beautifully styled. This little space probably works harder than any other space in the house because I can put everything in here. No one can see it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Genuinely makes me really happy. So this is a study where I don't work. <laughs> um, in my mind, when my daughter goes to senior school, this is where she'll come and she'll sit and do her homework and I kind of, kind of see what's going on. The architects designed this awesome door that you can pull totally closed, which obviously creates a totally separate space if you want it to. This is the bathroom. When we first moved in, it was just the most disgusting space you've ever seen. It's now very, very pleasurable to be able to have a bath in this space. We basically took up the ceiling, so it's got this amazing kind of vaulted space. Um, and another of my little secret practical joys is my uh, hanging clothes rack demonstration. <laughs> okay, so this is my bedroom. This is the most tranquil space in the house. I just love 
that point at the end of the day where I come up here, or sometimes not even at the end of the day. It's just a real retreat from everything and it's purposefully a bit more minimal than the rest of the house. In every house that I've ever lived in, I've always kind of lied in bed and imagined how I'd use the space more efficiently or expand it. Um, and this is the first place where what I thought in my head has actually been realised and it's so satisfying. When I wake up in the morning, this is what I see out of the window, which obviously now that spring is in full bloom, it's amazing. I absolutely love living in Forest Hill. Um, it's got this really lovely, relaxed feel about it and it's also just so green. So either side of my house, there's just trees, there's woods at the end of the road, the Hoynemen at the other end of the road. Um, and I can kind of see London peeking through, but I know it's, I know it's over there. Bye. Thanks for coming.